बात हो डेडिकेटेड फ्रेट कॉरिडोर की बात हो बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण आज का दिन और जिस आप देख सकते हैं इन तस्वीरों में किस तरह से महिलाएं और लोग उनकी एक झलक पाने के लिए बेताब दिख रहे हैं हमारे सहयोगी लगातार इस पूरी नजर बनाए हुए हैं इस पूरे घटनाक्रम पर हमारे सहयोगी नीरज सिंह इस वक्त मौजूद हैं नीरज हम इन तस्वीरों में देख पा रहे हैं लोगों में काफी जोश और उत्साह का माहौल और प्रधानमंत्री की एक झलक पाने के लिए लोग बेताब दिख रहे हैं और जैसा कि हमने कहा कि उन्नीस हजार करोड़ रुपए से भी अधिक की परियोजनाएं आज राष्ट्र को समर्पित करने वाले हैं किस तरह से देखा जाए आज के इस दिन को बुलंदशहर के लिए और यूपी के लिए देखिए असीम जिन तस्वीरों के माध्यम से आप लोगों को देख पा रहे हैं उससे ज्यादा बड़ी संख्या में जो लोग हैं तीन These visuals coming in from Bulandshahar in Western Uttar Pradesh, where the Prime Minister is going to be there in just a few minutes from now. You can already see the crowds that are waiting to catch a glimpse of the Prime Minister. This is uh, the Prime Minister, BJP's chief campaigner, kicking off the party's 2024 campaign from Western Uttar Pradesh in Bulandshahar. Arun Nanda, my colleague, joining us, uh, getting us more details of this. Uh, Arun, we are going to be seeing the Prime Minister inaugurate uh, several developmental projects. There were thousands of crores, but we are also going to be seeing the Prime Minister invoke Astha, invoke the Ram Temple. What is the importance of Buland Shahar really? Why has the Prime Minister chosen this particular place to kick off the 2024 campaign from? Well, to start with, uh, if you remember, in 2014, Prime Minister Modi. Uh, started uh, his Lok Sabha campaign from Buland Shahar itself, and uh, we saw the results. BJP, you know, swept Uttar Pradesh uh, uh, with with 72 or 73 odd seats out of 80. Uh, and in in 2019, in fact, uh, they got a you know dent of 10 seats, and they <laughs> settled, you know, uh, uh, reached to 62. So, and and importantly, this 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 is a part of Western Uttar Pradesh, where in 2014 BJP swept all 14 seats. But in last time, in 2019, they lost six seats. So Western Uttar Pradesh is a is a very significant uh, uh, belt, uh, where BJP is concerned and the Lok Sabha campaign is concerned. We saw Prime Minister Modi, of course, uh, uh, in Ayodhya three days back, uh, uh, you know, participating in that, uh, you know, uh, you know, Pran Pratishtha ceremony, and now in Western Uttar Pradesh, uh, choosing a land of. Uh, Uh, Kalyan Singh, Karm Bhumi of uh, of Kalyan Singh, the former Chief Minister of uh, Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, and a very senior uh, leader of uh, Bharatiya Janata Party, and of course, as you uh, rightly talked about the the projects which Prime Minister Modi will be inaugurating today, that includes uh, you know a uh, uh, university, the major Dhanchand uh, University in Meerut, uh, that will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi. Uh, they will also be. Uh, you know kalyan singh uh, medical college which prime minister modi will also inaugurate there will be a right. dedicated uh, corridor so i'll interrupt you there arun i'll come back to you but these are visuals coming in of the prime minister waving to the crowds that have gathered there in buland shahar uh, from where he will be addressing a rally in just a short while from now uh, ar raj gopalan senior journalist also joining us here on this broadcast uh, so thank you so much for speaking with us here on crn news 18 the 2024 bugle has been sounded by the prime minister coming in from buland shahar now this is a place where uh, As far as the assembly elections last year went, in 2022 went, the BJP swept all seats, but they did lose some in 2019 elections to the SP and the BSP combined. This time around, there is a lot of infighting as far as the India Alliance goes. Do you think that's what the BJP or the Prime Minister is trying to cash in on? Hey, what do you say that you know Prime Minister Narendra Modi's for political agenda is what is on top priority? Whether today elections are being held or next week or next month, next year, BJP is into 24 into 7 election mode. Always they want to have this development and also Ram Mandir. So put together, Mr. Narendra Modi's presence in Bulandshahar today is clearly indicating that 2024 election has been, you know, uh, the 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 inauguration of uh, the electioneering has started, and with that. This Narendra Modi's total aim is Charso Bar, Istibar. The new song has also been issued by the BJP today. So putting it everything in perspective, my understanding is soon after this Ram Mandir, Prime Minister Modi concentrating on Uttar Pradesh means they want to take all 80 together, all the 80 seats. Nothing should go to Samajwadi Party or to BSP or to Congress. Apart from that, today the Karnataka issue is also hotting up. In Karnataka, 
the Sadiqari is also ready to join the BJP. So in total, if you look at this Poonam, my understanding is Narendra Modi is 2024. And what better place or what better state than to start from uh, than Uttar Pradesh, especially on the back of uh, the inauguration of the Ram Temple just a few days ago. Our Raj Gopalan, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18 and sharing your perspective. That brings us to the end of the show, but we will be coming back to you with the Prime Minister's Roadshow and of course uh, the big gathering that he is going to address there. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere.